Hi there, I am Danny, and I am so glad that you're here with me today. I want to talk, um, if you've been here at all, then you know that I am on a journey. My, my kids are about to, um, my youngest is about to go off to school within a year or so. Uh, I'm going to be an empty nester, and for the first time in my life, I'm really looking at what do I really want to create um, it's, it's a different context of not having to be fully responsible for my children. Um, it, it's a complete kind of mind shift and it's, and it, and it frees up a lot of energy and resources to do something else. And so I've been doing a lot of thinking about what do I really want and creating a new life for myself. And as we go forward in the next few months, um, I will be buying a van to do a conversion and make it into a camping van and I will start to go on trips and I will start to work towards uh, being independent with my work and things like that. But for now, um, I am a lot of the small things that I am doing are much more mindset related. And so I thought I would just share, you know, before you go for any big dream in life, you have to believe that you deserve a life that you love. You have to believe that you uh, deserve it. So without the self-love, without the self-confidence and that, that strong internal knowing of worthiness, then you're kind of derailed before you ever even begin. So I have been going back to some of the self-love practices that I have used through the years. And there are so many of them, and I thought it would be fun to share one, so uh, to share them. So I am going to start by sharing maybe just one a week or so as I start this channel and as we kind of go, get moving. I'm calling the whole program together, Love Yourself Like You've Never Been Loved Before. And so I'm going to have all of these practices and this will be a new playlist that we will start. And so we'll probably end up with, I don't know, 25 or 30 or 35, somewhere in there. But, but I want to make the videos short. I want to have them um, be short and powerful um, and just things that you can do to help you on the path to having more self-love and self-confidence so that you can have some fuel for your dreams when times get tough you you have that inner knowing to to always come back to that knowing of worthiness that knowing that you deserve uh, your own love and respect and care and i made a couple of notes i just want to make sure that i got what i wanted to say um it's very empowering to give yourself what it is that you need. So many times in life, I know I have, as a wife, as a mother, as a daughter, whatever, have been in situations, even with friends, where I am waiting on them to give me something, waiting on them to provide me with some kind of love or approval or permission, uh, waiting on them to give me something that I feel like I need before I can proceed. And it's very empowering for us to give that to ourselves. Another thing I know about self-love is that if you do not love yourself, you cannot truly give love to others. Not that pure, powerful, real love to someone else. If you don't have the love for yourself, you cannot give what you do not have. So we are working on that because not only think maybe it sounds selfish or whatever, uh, self-love, and you think, oh, that's going to get a massage or spending some money or doing something like that. It's not that exactly. It's just making, it's knowing that you deserve to be a priority uh, as well as anything else in your life. And also, uh, I want to just share the concept that you know, with all self-help, anytime you're trying to change anything or or grow or be better or just um, break out of kind of where you are and go to new ground, find a new way of being, a new way of doing things, 
uh, you're going to meet resistance, but also you have to think about it like the conscious mind, we all know, is only about 10%, right, of the whole power. We don't even understand everything that goes into it. But our conscious mind is often like the last the last part of our mind to know of anything going on is often the conscious mind. So when we're doing these self-love practices, what I want to say is you'll get to a point, maybe it's in a relationship, maybe it's in a project, maybe it's in, in whatever it is you're doing in your life right now. You'll get to a point where you have a decision to make. And the decision whether you're going to, let's say, leave a toxic relationship or start that new project, that new passion project that you really, really want to do, when it comes down to to time to make that decision, you're going to feel like you're making this decision right now in this moment. And you kind of are. But what we know is that there are hundreds and maybe thousands, maybe even more of little micro decisions, little micro pieces of information that have gone into your subconscious understanding and knowing that have created a propensity for one or the other. So whether you stay in the toxic relationship or start the new passion project, whatever it is you're on the on the brink of, we think now that like your decision will be made based on, not on the tip of the iceberg, what you're seeing before you right now, but on the the mass of the iceberg that is below the surface that you don't even see. So what I'm saying is, these self-love practices, many of them do feel good and they feel empowering and you can see the direct line of benefit. But at the same time, we are building under the water. We're building that iceberg. We're building that power that we often don't see, but it's going to give us the fuel to make the decision and make the right steps when it really counts. And this is one of the, some of the reasons, a few of the reasons why I'm so passionate about self-love. So I want to share some of these with you without going on and on. Like I say, I want to keep each daily video. Sometimes it'll be just a few minutes. Sometimes it might be a little longer. Some of the topics are going to be very fun. Some of them are going to be a little more serious, but we're going to try to kind of balance it out and you can skip whatever you want, of course. (laughs) You know, do what you want, leave the rest, whatever. Uh, So we are going to do that. This is the intro video. And if you want, I will go ahead and click. I'll at least put, uh, I have not yet done those fancy things like people on YouTube do. We're like, oh, click the video here. I don't have that capability yet, Um, but I will because I'm learning myself every day on little things on how to do it. But I will put the description um, or maybe the description to the next few once I get them below so that you can at least look in the description and find a link there so that if you're one of those people, I'm one of these people where if I'm going to read a book or if I'm going to see a movie or do anything like that, like I have to start at the beginning. I want the day one, I want the beginning, and then I take it from there. And so um, that's what I'm that's what I'm going to do <laughs> for those of you who want it. And if not, then it doesn't matter. Uh, so, okay, without further ado, then let's do this. I'll put the description to day one or to the first self-love practice in the description. So, yay, let's do this. Um, you deserve your own love and care and respect. And let's get to a new place of believing that we deserve a good life and of worthiness. And let's do it together because it's always more fun that way. All right. Thanks for being here.